Does anyone have a question with them to us? You know, I know this energy is very strong and if you and myself, all of us take it deep inside, it really is, you know, an energy of transformation, an energy of developing chakra system. And without the development of a strong chakra system, there is no transformation in a human being. There's nothing strong enough to keep a person, you know, deeply connected to spirit, to God, to higher energy. And that's what the meditation is about. It is building that kind of system. And there's a number of steps involved, you know, <clears throat> getting rid of anxiety, neurosis, fear, insecurity, you know, learning to live with an open heart, to live with love, to live with joy, <clears throat> to truly nurture the highest parts of what we are as human beings. You know, that positive energy that sees good in the world and is willing to act that way, to approach life from a place deep in their heart, compassion with love. All of this is really part, it's like a cosmic stepladder that needs to be built, and each step along the way gets us closer to a state of spiritual enlightenment. It would be a long journey. It almost always is a long journey. But it's a, certainly a journey that will take you through every single aspect of karma that you have to work out in this life. And ultimately, you know, look, what is it? It's, God is love. I mean, that really is the answer. And how do we connect with that answer? We are responsible for doing the inner work that enables our system to truly connect with that higher force in the universe. We're born here to do that. And we come back thousands of lifetimes until we finally learn how to do that. Does anyone have a question? Somebody have a question? I mean, Rudy learned how to do that. I've gotten pretty far up the ladder doing that. I understand? I mean, it's, you know, it's inside every single human being. All you have to do is develop the system that enables you to do it. Without endlessly making excuses about why you don't want to do it. I got this, I got that, I got the other, I got blah, 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 da, 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 da. You know, I mean, look, I went to a memorial service for a person who I used to really felt very close to. I loved her very dearly years ago. She was a wonderful human being. She was a student of mine. And I and I knew this was going to happen. I met, I don't know, 15 people I haven't seen in 20 years that used to study with me when I had that big loft on Fourth Avenue in Manhattan and I ran a center. And it was, you know, look, it, there was a lot of hugging and a lot of gratitude and People telling me how thankful they are that they had studied with me and what they learned and blah, blah, blah. 
And that was great, you know, that was wonderful. But then there's another element to this. You know, 20 years have gone by and to see the lack of growth in people, the lack of inner development, the lack of inner strength, you know, that they just, people get older. And that was a little sad for me, you know, because I want people to learn this. And I know that there are endless excuses and reasons why people, you know, walk away from this. And then you meet them 20 years later and it's, it's really, you know, you wonder why, what's the point? What did you accomplish by not coming to meditation classes that were so wonderful in your life while you were doing them? So, you know, one has to, in a very interesting way, look into the future and say, what will the future bring? I saw the future last Sunday of what it brought to people. And I see people who stayed with me, studying with me, doing this work. It's not even me, you know, uh, doing deep spiritual practice. And I see the twinkle in their eye, the strength inside them, the power that, you know, their bodies get older, but their interior gets younger, gets more alive, there's more wisdom, there's more knowledge, and there's a brightness inside them that is amazing, you know? And that's what should happen when people get older. There should be more wisdom. There should be more gratitude. There should be more knowledge, you know, that they've taken from life because they had a system inside that enabled them to do it. I'm, you know, I'm just saying not to scare anybody, but just God puts very incredible things in our life. And then we find millions of reasons not to do them. But it really puts extraordinary things, opportunities to grow, to have a spiritual life too. And then, you know, one can't live their life with excuses not to do the things that God has put in the, into their life. And there's me also. I'm not strong enough to nurture the whole world. And this is not right for everybody. But there is something that is right for everybody. And if this isn't right, the person truly has to find something else. Does anyone have a question you would like to ask? You would have a question. Yes. Do you feel that working with your picture is still a very strong opening to your picture? Still a very strong uh, way to meditate? Uh, what I think is that everybody should sit down for at least a half hour a day. And if you do sit down for a half hour a day, you should have a picture of a teacher, be it myself, be it Rudy, Nichananda be it the picture of Christ, be it a picture of the Buddha, somebody that is in some state of meditation that can transmit that energy. When you sit that way, it's not going to be as strong as one of these classes, but it'll be sustaining the work. You understand? Taking the work from day and learning how to do it independent of these classes. So when you come to these classes, you bring a higher level of yourself. So it's, you know, yes, I mean, look, I, a picture of myself, you know, it's a picture. But what I'm saying is, is that the doing it of it, take a half hour every day at home, set up a little altar, you know, picture of this or that, you know, a little statue or something, and sit down. And that's your quiet place. That's your place where you work on yourself a half hour a day at home. 
Now, this is not fanatical. You know, it's just something that sustains the work in between the classes. And then you bring a better level of yourself to the classes. So the work of these classes can go even deeper inside you. I have retreats, you know. I'm hoping that the work of these classes, when the people come to the retreats, you know, they bring every retreat they come to, they bring a higher level of themselves. So they can take more energy and more Shakti inside them to be able to connect with spirit. I mean, that's what all this is about, you know. It's not about me having students, you know. I really don't really want to have students. I'm not interested in disciples. You know, I have enough karma in my life to work out. I'm interested in people wanting to take this amazing teaching and use it to build their own independent connection with them and being smart about it. And don't live a life of excuses. Live a life of, you know, look, when you truly need to do what is being taught here, I promise you, it's like you can wave a finger and it's like Moses waving his wand and the Red Sea parts. You know, the universe will make it possible for you to do it. Suddenly your whole life will begin to reorganize itself. And there'll be an open space for you to sit and do this. Doesn't mean you don't work, you don't have family, you don't, but it all just works that way. It's like a miracle that it happened to me when I met Rudy and I find this, this I said, this is amazing what he's teaching. I got to go to his class. My whole life changed. Things started happening that I couldn't believe they were actually happening. And they happened to give me time to go to his meditation. So I needed what he was teaching me to help me build a spiritual life. So well, it's all about that, you know, it's about how deeply we need, it's about sustaining the work, it's about doing what is possible, so that every class you come to is a little bit better than the last one you were at, the growth goes deeper inside. And I suggest take a half hour every day. I have a picture of myself, Rudy, Nichananda. It's a teacher you connect with. It'd be a picture of Krishna, or Buddha. You know, it doesn't matter. Somebody that you can focus your attention on, sit and do the meditation. And try to do it as a way of sustaining the work so that when you attend the classes, the classes will take you to a much higher place in your spiritual evolution. Does anyone else have a question? Yes, Mr. Rudy, I have a And when people stop coming to these classes, you know, I mean, look, I just take their names off my list. They don't show up here for three weeks, two weeks, three weeks, a month. You know, I just take their name off the list. I can't teach people that don't come. And then people, oh, my God, I'm bummed out. You took my name off the list. I said, well, you're never there. Well, you know, you don't send somebody an invitation to a party if they never show up. <laughs> <laughs> really, you know, you stop sending them an invitation. And I know I can't teach people that, well, I'll make it, I won't make it, I'll come in a week, a month, you know, it doesn't work. 
it really doesn't work. And people that I feel like taking people who I felt very close to and I loved very much and but whatever their excuses were, they were more important than being in the class. So I take their name off the list. Now they're always welcome to come back, but they have to make a commitment to attend at least two, three classes a week. Otherwise, what's the point of all this? Does anyone else have a question? Okay, if there are no more questions, then God bless you all. Thank you. As I say, thank you for being here, for being my teacher, for your need, making tremendous demands on my depth of work and where I go to in these meditation classes. God bless you all, you know? And thank you. Thank and you. There'll be a class on, what is it, Wednesday, tomorrow. There'll be a class, and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Good night.